So, we got a call. It's a double extraction. I think there's two people stuck. And it's my first time ever using a, a gas pump. Anyway, we got a call for a truck that's stuck in the sand out to cane beds, and they stopped to help somebody else, and they're, now they're both stuck. So we're gonna go get them out. And I'm pretty excited about this recovery because um, it's somebody most of you know that we're going out to rescue. And uh, we'll just keep that a little secret until we pick them up. How's it going? <laughs> I've been better. <laughs> well, jump in here and I'll let you tell your okay. story. All right, so tell us your story. Well, I was just on my way home from work like any other day. And there was a kid standing in the middle of the road waving his arms like crazy. So I stopped. Shouldn't have, should have just went around him probably. He's like, hey, I'm stuck. Okay, where? And he tells me. I'm like, well, that's a horrible idea. I'm not going to drive down there because I'll get stuck. So okay. I drive down there, and then I get stuck. So he made out like a banshee, really. He gets stuck, and I end up uh, walking and getting help, and he's still sitting out there. So I did everything for him, basically. He's still out there? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go get him. Him and his girlfriend, they're, they're like uh, five feet from my truck. All right. So I drove right to them and stopped and got out, and then we were stuck. <laughs> oh, you didn't even get a try oh no they're in the sand yep it's bad all right so you stopped like any decent person would do went to help them even though you had dinner waiting for you at home exactly. <laughs> and then how far did you have to hike before you got picked up not very far i seen a car seen headlights coming so i ran for the road and they were either gonna hit me or pick me up one of the two <laughs> that's nice and then how far up the cane beds road um the first big home where okay. the underpass is that wash where it goes down oh after the right after the corner sharp turn, turn. yeah right there so i'm feeling a lot of pain from the situation paul's in right now but mostly it's joy i knew this was going to happen but i wanted it to happen on my terms yes. not yours this, i wish it happened in the daylight yeah paul's making us film at night i'm stuck you're gonna earn it don't worry well, I got Rudy coming behind me. That's good. How heavy is that truck? It's heavy. This right here. Yeah, you keep saying that. You I'll... remember Paul's one mile. <laughs> I know, we're going to be back in Utah by the time we get him. <laughs> we're not going to be in Utah. We're a little ways, though. I've been driving this whole time with my hubs locked in. This one's locked? Hey, check it. That's what I get for setting my front driveline angle so perfectly that I can't even tell when I'm in four-wheel drive. Okay, I'll, if you want to go pick them up, I'll wander in my truck. We'll go pick them up. Here it is. In all of her glory, the old work truck. Look at you. Great. Oh yeah, we're stuck. We are stuck. You know me, when I uh, go ahead and do something, I just do it. I'll put that up. We've got a famous yellow rope that we'll use. Okay, well, we got his story. Let's hear your story. I've been stuck down there for like seven hours. I went out there to fix a fence, and I didn't get close to the fence. <laughs> well, that's as good as you can do in a dually. Because it's just a one-tire fryer. So his back tire's stuck. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Yeah, you done good. Yeah. <laughs> Tried. So, you think we're gonna go hook up straight and just go straight back out? That's, I'm gonna just put it in reverse and he's gonna pull me backwards, I think is the game plan. Yep, that looks like what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna go and find the end of this. Okay, I'll get four high so I can follow you. And then uh, 
Then I'll back up and your reverse lights will tell me everything I need to know. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> well, I was flat out working this thing that first 20 feet. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was sunk. Okay, I think I'm going to put you in the driver's seat of that truck. You're going to be singing for your supper tonight. Alright. He has a dead battery as well. So okay. he wants to know if you want to jump them first or pull them out. Does he got jumper cables? Do you have jumper cables? Yeah, he's got some. Okay. I'm gonna pop you out of here and stop so I don't dig a hole back up and hit you. Alright, sounds good. Well, I appreciate it. Now yeah. I owe you, I guess. Oh, yeah, big time. Oh, that's never <laughs> You're good. You're never gonna pay uh, this debt off. No, I know it. So both those jobs went easier than I thought they yeah, were going when I looked at them. That one's not starting, it's not charging. I'm afraid we're going to have to tow it into cane beds, but we'll just do that. We're going that way anyway. Paul's going that way, we're going that way. Yep. Thank you very much, man. We're going to fist bump All on right. live television. That's right. <laughs> Your battery's completely dead, and if your motor's running, the alternator is not charging, so you have zero power in, in this truck. I can tow you back in. Oh, you, you can? can? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're heading that we're way. We're heading that, that way, way anyway. Why are you switching ropes, man? Because I don't want to ruin my yellow mats off-road recovery rope. What do I think you pull right here on the side, right there? Okay, now hang on, hold on. There's something you gotta pull on the side. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, so you push the black thing in. You pull, you pull it out. Okay. So Paul's instructions were, were were tricky for me because that's the first sharp turn. Yeah, and, then and that's, that's the, the first bump. culvert. Uh -huh. I think our best option is to take these guys out to the stop sign. If we don't see Rudy by then, try and call Rudy. If we can't get a hold of Rudy, turn around and come back. Drop okay. them off at the stop well, sign. dropping and them off at their place is just not very far away from that. It might be best just to cut these guys completely loose and then come back and look for it. He's a big boy, he's just gonna be mad. He's gonna be mad. <laughs> Rudy, don't be too mad at us. Yeah, Rudy. So Paul gave some pretty vague directions to where we were going. I'm glad he was in here with me. So Rudy never showed up and I'm betting it's because of the, the instructions that we gave him were the same ones that Paul gave us. The big, there's no cell phone service here, like there's no chance of getting a hold of him at all. So hopefully he figures out what's going on and doesn't spend the night out here driving up and down sandy washes looking for us. Would you really let him spend the night out here? I don't know where he is. His mom wouldn't let him spend the night out here? He's a big boy. Still no Rudy. The other option is that he got pulled over and he's getting a ticket right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, you guys have a good night. So Paul got us into a fun one. We ended up towing that vehicle quite a ways with no lights, but luckily Rudy stuck around even though he had bad directions. I had bad directions too, but I had the luxury you of had, having Paul in the Jeep yes. with me. Paul. Oh. Paul. It's not the first time. Paul's one miles or six. That's about the ratio. We sent Paul on his way. He's probably home by now. And then the other couple, we got them back to their place in cane beds. And we're going to go home and go to bed or something. Thanks Have for watching. Have a good night.